Welcome back to just a small project, or maybe two, we'll see. Anyway, I want to make a mild steel shaft that is pointed at the end, 6 mm diameter, or maybe a few of them with different length. We'll see. Anyway, enjoy. So why do I need those pointy thingies? Well, uh, my little Proxon <laughs> milling combo here, uh, yeah, a card here, link in the description, is very lightweight, about 20 kilos, and it's very compact and very small. And it has absolute no metal parts where you could, for example, uh, attach a dial gauge to or any other reference surfaces for measuring things on your piece that you have in the wise. So I ended up visually moving my compound table so my tool would hit the lines I scribed into my pieces. And usually I would put a center drill into the collet for that. And uh, yeah, with some optical magnification, like using my camera here, that worked quite well. However, a center drill does not really have a well-defined tip and if that tool came here, was in the colored and came down, uh, yeah, that's a little bit cumbersome, uh, like turning it several times until you're sure you're really set up on the line. And you do that from two directions, of course. And with uh, something I can put into my collet the size of a center drill, so six millimeter diameter, and a real point at the end, uh, I think I can improve. Uh, yeah, it will be less cumbersome and hopefully more accurate. We will make these little helpers from 8mm drawn, is that the right word, drawn mild steel shafts here. Uh, or rods, they are not quite shafts yet. And I have already one here in the lathe and uh, yeah, it's styled into, yeah, within 200s or so, that's good enough because it's 8mm and we will go down 1mm to a total diameter of 6mm and then we make it pointy. Let's first clean up the face in an extreme close-up. <laughs> Last time I used the lathe with those uh, carbide insert tools, I uh, yeah, noticed that little pin that uh, is left behind, meaning the tool is not exactly at the center. And I ignored that back then, but uh, now I tried to shim the tool a little bit up. Not with a standard shim, because I don't have one. Uh, that is 1.5 millimeters. I have just put some of my standard aluminum uh, sheet stuff in here, which is between 1 and 0.1 and 0.2 millimeters. We'll see how that works. Almost. Okay, we are now at the official 0.3 millimeter shim from my shim set. Let's see. Yeah, that hits the spot. Now let's turn down that 8mm round stock to 6mm. The caliper says we are at 7.82. So uh, let's say 1.8mm to take off or on the compound table on 0.9mm. 0.9mm to take off. Let's start. Thank you. 
I made five passes in total, one 0.1 millimeter pass, then three 0.2 millimeter passes, and at the end another 0.1 millimeter pass. And the result is, we are here at the back, I hope you can read that, yeah, at about 6 point, 6 point 3, 6.39, 6.41, and at the front we are at a little thicker, 6.44. And that's because, yeah, there is some deflection here when I'm cutting. At, uh, especially at the front. Now we theoretically had enough space here uh, to put a little hole in it, a center hole, and use the live center to stabilize that. But in the end I have to uh, cut the tip here obviously without a live center in. So uh, yeah. Let's make a really, really small cut now and see where we're at. So you saw me going back and forth here at the end until no more material came off. Uh, that resulted in uh, here at the back we are now at uh, 6.3 and uh, the front at uh, 6.18. So uh, another very small cut and I will refrain from uh, repeating too often here at the end. That was too small of a cut. We are still at 6.3 here at the end. So yeah, uh, but we're getting there. We are at 6.11 at the front and 6.15 here at the back. So we're getting more and more cylindrical instead of making a little pyramid here. But yeah, one more very small cut. So we are at... 6.03 at the back, that's okay. In the middle we are at 6.0, 6 6.0102 and at the front where the tip goes at 6.03, that's good enough. I think I will uh, polish it a little bit and then we we'll leave it at that. Could be a little bit nicer. Yeah, still. I will go over it very lightly with some, uh, no number here, uh, that's 160 grit, and then I polish again. Yeah, starting to get better. Not perfect. Steel is obviously not the forte of that little lathe. Uh, too much flex in it, but uh, it's okay. It will do. And now for the tip. I have my compound table here now at an approximately 30 degree angle. Uh, 45 was, yeah, <laughs> not tippy enough. And 15 was, yeah, the tip would be too weak. Uh, so 30, good compromise. Let's get cracking. So we have a tip and yeah, not needle sharp, but 
noticeably sharp. <laughs> I could pierce my skin with that. Yeah, the trick was of course to take, because of the deflection, because we are so far out <coughs> from the truck, uh, to take very, very small cuts. The deepest cuts I took were 0.15 millimeters and at the end I went to 0.05 millimeters and below, just yeah, cleaning it up very nicely. And now for the parting off, which I will do with a small metal saw, <laughs> because I <clears throat> my big metal saw is somebody else with a friend. Yeah, never do that. And it, yeah, the idea is here to have it at approximately the same length as my largest center drill. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was tedious. Another possible source for the vibrations we uh, saw at <laughs> the business end is that my round stock is sticking out here quite a lot. And if I turn on the machine, you see, yeah, uh, you probably don't see it. But yeah, it's wobbling quite a lot and that transfers, of course, into the machine. Let's clean up the other side real quick. Houston, we have a problem. So we are here at the back at 6.00. That's okay. Uh, further down we go to 6.07 and then at the front to 6.03 again. And the result of that is that that thing is in the middle not quite fitting into the collet. Yeah. So one more time with the <laughs> 160 grit paper here. Mm, almost. It's still a bit tight here at the back. Okay. That is a perfect fit. A bit interference, so let's go one more round. And polish. Yep, tight fit, but... It's supposed to be tight. Yeah, that's good enough. That's it for today. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> no uh, second small project that took in real time about -ish three hours or so. Uh, but yeah, the result is quite okay it's not perfect so yeah mild steel milling uh mild steel uh turning on that little lathe um uh, it's hard it's hard you have to do very small cuts and uh, yeah it takes a while to get to a result but uh 
it's working. <laughs> anyway, till next time. Bye.